Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Welcome to your daily message, daily energy, and happy Monday, loves. January 13, quite a day, right? Many of you might be scared about this date, many of you might be delighted, but no, the 13, 1 and 3 makes 4, and 4 speaks about stability. Whatever you feel stable, whatever you see yourself stable. So let's go, loves, and start this reading. We have the Angels and Ancestors, Oracle Cards, and the After Tarot Cards. And been inclined for this day to start with the Oracles. Whatever in the world you are, welcome and much, much appreciation for all of you who do in tune with these energies as always. If you are always here, I thank you. If you are just coming across, welcome. Thank you for in tuning with these energies. All right, loves. Let's see. We have Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times the first card we have eagle see from a higher perspective we have the magic guardian unlock the magic within and we have the mother earth feel loved and comforted so here we are loves Feel loved and comforted because there's a lot of changes coming in and you definitely need to get them all. With the magic within here really speaks off. You have all it takes. It's like I'm seeing the magician here. And see from a high perspective, certain things here seems in a way, but they definitely look very different. Many, many times we are, we definitely are, in some changes because spirit fox really speaks to me like a death process a changing process a transformation process but whatever here you do whatever you truly believe into it definitely brings changes so let's see what we got So here we are, loves. Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and Death. So look at this, loves. There are news coming in, there's things here starts to moving. The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Wands, however, they are back to back. There's something here probably are not taking it the way it's offered or given to you. Okay? But get ready for messages, for information, for movement. That's the, the eagle spirit here. See from a higher perspective. The first card we have the star temperance look at these two archangels one next to another gabriel michael here nine of pentacles eight of cups sun well you know the sun happiest card of the tarot but also sun speaks of one day the daytime the daylight the rebirth energy we'll speak about it loves and six of cups, three of wands, ten of pentacles, and ace of pentacles. All right, loves. So we have queen of wands, knight of cups, and that's it from the, the core cards. But we also have this major arcanas, star, temperance, and sun. They're all in a positive energy here. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here 
look at this children like energies somebody here needs to move on from a situation that really kind of like were deep deep into their childhood or comes from their childhood something here definitely were very very strong clarifying this eight of cups page of pentacles ten of cups hermit this virgo energy somebody here it's searching for their happiness for they are they are true joy as you see here we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacle family time somebody here needed to make to make peace with the situation since they were children or since they were a child and i feel here that situation could be regards love as we have the mother earth here somebody here needs to work out on their love towards their mother or their mother towards them as well could be the financial energy that comes from their family the money are not good hey the money doesn't grow in tree the money are all the evil and things like that as you see here the nine of pentacles somebody here gets the the strength gets the the confidence to move forward from this past energy towards something new also i feel here someone really manifested this this really were manifested the six of cups clarifier eight of pentacles needed a lot of effort to be put in two of cups look at this two of cups how beautiful is this two hugging each other it's like it's a deep hug because look at this lady and look at this man i hope it's focused very well so you can see them how strong they hug each other and the cat i love it here it's white cat in this it's a black cat this is a white cat you see so somebody here brought love into their situation self-love as well look at this eight of cups it's here six of cups and two of cups makes the eight who somebody here is quite emotional because look at this how many emotions here are and also somebody here needed to love themselves as who they truly are they are new version they are new self and I feel here that was deep, deep inside. As you see here, the hermit is searching deep inside their true happiness. And there's a family at a picnic here. Beautiful, beautiful. So whoever I'm speaking today, no matter who you are, no matter whatever you are dealing with, you do hold your own universe inside you. And you need, you must love yourself for who you truly are. You are very talented. And that's what we have here about talents. Some of you may not really believe in talents. Anyone can have a talent. Anyone can have a hobby. But not everyone developed that. Not everyone, you know, grabbing in and go within because as i always say i really loved spirituality which i was first time into finding about spirituality i believe was 2010 2009 2010 that time my first deck was either 2010 2011 and I really always been fascinated about the tarot. 
However, I, I was also inclined to the astrology part, but really come like a glove to me, the tarot. Because we do have astrology many, many times. We go by astrology energy. But I truly believe we need to go with what feels strong more than what is not. Yes, there are in this world a lot of trends and there might be a lot of, you know, viral stuff. But when I was approached deeply into the spirituality and the spiritual realm, my, the first deck was 2010, 2011. The I had a flash, let me call it as a flash of awakening, probably was 2014 or even 15. And at that point, I remember I was going to the Sunday church and I believe at that time I left a job that the the management was not really healthy and was i that was very very not how i was looking and i remember i was crying in the church when everyone were listening to the priest but i was crying not even wanted to cry and in my mind i was asking the universe, God, whoever is there, because that was at that time, I didn't really know much about the universe. I knew just there is a God there, there's a bigger force. And that was my first time when I asked for guidance, for a light, and for a way to find as quick as possible something that will be good for me and that was a Sunday and I believe that week I found a job and the job was so easy the people I was working with was so easy and from that point I started digging in more and more because I truly have seen when you truly trust and you don't do certain things based on fear or desperation, but more likely based on faith. That's when the thing starts to show to you. And what, how this comes to our reading is because someone here, someone here really want to connect with their true love, true self, or... They, they never felt happy. They never felt fulfilled. They never felt appreciated. And I feel here, as you see here, this is the present moment, basically, in our reading. Temperance, sun, and the ten of pentacles. Once we make peace with our inner child, childhood, and whatever beliefs was in our childhood, then things starts to work for us and move us towards something new. And yeah, this is just the beginning. Some of you might be single and wanted a family, wanted kids, but you want it very different than what you've been seeing in your family. Something like that. That's why we have here the unlock the magic within. You hold what you need inside. And yes, with these two, two little punks here, how, how to say, look, look at these two children, how they are so funny here and playing is like I'm seeing my, my daughters playing and running around. Is that that joy that you felt that brings the happy energy. 
as you see here also this lady it's smiling here I hope we'll, uh, we'll focus as you see here she is smiling when we have the healing and surrendering to the journey a lot of things starts to flow a lot of things starts to come in such a way that we can even feel how awesome can be as well as you see here loves we have the eight of pentacles nine ten and one so putting in the effort being confident about it the things will start to show you the way you manifested even before you knew it for some of you, you manifest something here even 18 months even 10 years ago and yes i have certain manifestations that i ask spirit years back and they are come to true so the balance between past and future but more likely be present and be you let's see here the knight of cups clarifier ace of swords and the queen of wands clarifier five of pentacles and what I'm seeing here underneath we have the high priestess somebody here might not really acknowledge something or might not really be to leave something behind five of pentacles is something here someone needs to leave behind because yes yeah, some of uh, five of pentacles is not like someone leaves you it's you need to leave something and five of pentacles it's here clarifying the queen of wands and ten of pentacles is right here one more card for this queen of wands five of pentacles nine of wands resistance resistance of what can be and nine of cups you see here this nines convenience being comfortable in certain things somebody here is comfortable to feel like well I can't do this or I cannot make this or I don't see it possible every time when we bring up this kind of things we gotta know that there is much more and somebody here definitely it's up in their mind nine of swords is the one missing and eight of swords as well both of them are monkey mind energy and thinking not really necessarily related for what your purpose is so loves if you are overthinking what could be or what's good allow yourself to get out from that you know box or that prison of your mind and think big think to the distance that's the see from a higher perspective embrace the new embrace the horizons you are in a changing time you don't need to know how the things will show up to you you don't need to all what you do is to be happy for what you have now be in the present be now let's see in a deck really quick where is the eight of swords and the nine of swords but the high priestess you clearly know 
what you need to in tune in. The next one we have the justice. Balance and take the leap. King of Pentacles here. Towards grounding yourself more and know who you are because this is what you are going towards. Don't even doubt it. All right, let's see. The Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Where is... So, first thing first, we got to the Nine of Swords. The next card, we have Four of Swords and Three of Pentacles. It's kind of identify what works for you. Don't overthink what you don't really know because you got already halfway. Just identify what is working for you. The next, we are moving to Eight of Swords. Where are you? So here it is. Eight of Swords is right here. In this deck, Eight of Swords is someone cutting it, this blindfolds, this ropes. The next card we have the Emperor. This is the ego. No, 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 this is not true. This is not. Look at here, the, the, um, the, um, the high priestess. Your intuition over your ego. And look at this empress. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Death, the devil, Ace of Wands, and the will. See the opportunity of movement instead of this how supposed to or how is there for me let's go for uh, an advice from spirit here one advice from spirit for you two of wands you are the one only one to choose what you need and what you want. Two of Swords. In this Two of Swords are two fighting, but one is blindfolded. So I feel here very strongly speaks of look further. Knight of Pentacles. Take your time. Because for some of you, even you are not really into certain things or not aware of certain things. Just moving forward on a slow pace, you will see through. The devil energy here, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, the devil energy really speaks of do you know what you can control or what you don't control as well don't feed any negative ways instead let it go and embrace the new ones don't wait any longer there's no waiting learn how to because somebody here indeed might have that energy of if I'm not going to be in control or if I'm not going to do this, it's not going to happen. You know better. You definitely do. As well, when we have two of wands, two of cups here, two of swords here, two of pentacles, don't go back and forth. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe here, maybe there. Stick with one side. All right, loves. So, yeah, that's, that's quite a reading loves. Stick with one side. You choose, it's like a test. When you choose a grill test or how you uh, uh, pick a choice or how you call it. If you start with one thing, keep one thing. And for some reason, I just now realizing that I have very little battery. So at one point my interrupt 
and I will connect the videos if that happens. Let's go for our individual zodiac signs, a card for each for the day. Aries, we have Chariot. There's a trip, there's a lot of movement out there. There is, seems here an, an Aries here who loves speed. Take it slow, loves. Take it slow. Because sometimes, you know, when you're rushing into certain things, might not get exactly the way you want. For some of you, today might be a day that you you have certain things like somebody says something and you just take it so personally or you don't even understand quickly what it is and you just kind of get like fire. You know, before doing something, see the options or see the other side. All right, right. Nice. Because it seems here there is sometimes we understand one thing and might not be that thing. Taurus. Let's see, loves. What do we have for you? Eight of Swords for you and Nine of Cups. There's a Taurus here who feels victimized, loves. But I feel here that's um, a comfort. Somebody here might say, well, I can't drop this weight. But for one part, I love to be the way I am. So what's the excuse? And that could be any situation out there. I can't do anything about, but on the other side, I feel good about it. So Taurus, I'm speaking today, it is there more excuses or more action. You decide. It's no hard feelings, but I feel here you might tell you certain things. You tell yourself certain things, but might come out other. And believe it or not, not everyone can buy it. Moving on to our Gemini's. Straightforward messages for each zodiac. Gemini's, we have Eight of Swords for you, Queen of Cups. Somebody here needs help, Gemini. Could be someone you owe dearly to you or someone really, really you care about. Could be your mother, could be your father, could be a brother, sister, but it's someone here close to you. And could be something here mentally related, you know, check on them, ask if they need any help and things like that. Because sometimes somebody here might feel in a way, but just have a conversation or have that, you know, connection might go away, believe it or not. What I do when I have a headache, I used to run to get a pill. What I do now, I read. And I start reading every single time when I start having a headache. And I used to get quite a lot. Now, when it just starts, I start reading and focusing on that. Tremendously helping. For some of you, that's you, you know. You might need to communicate with someone or just vent out. Feel free. Moving on to our beautiful Cancerians. There is out there Cancerians who are very dear to me. And I very, very thank them. One of them cares my... Actually, my daughter cares her name. And I know listens here. I thank you so much. Because I do truly appreciate. You know the word Cancerian. We cannot be close to each other, but we can be at the distance to take care. So Cancerians, we have for you four of pentacles and six of pentacles. There is a situation now they are family-wise or money-wise or work-wise that you kind of don't want to work it out anymore or you feel it's quite pointless or I don't want to give it anymore because anyway doesn't go the way it needs to. So you are a point with this situation that could be if everyone if everyone puts the effort into but unfortunately you don't see because four of pentacles is like I 
I don't want to invest anymore in this because still not working out or it's still not stable or will not be stable. For some of you, you tried a lot and you feel it's just one sided. You, you kind of you want to put it behind you, basically. Leo, we have Queen of Wands. Look at your card here and the devil. All right, loves. For some Leos, you might want to leave a karmic behind. For others of you, might leave a situation that is really drama, controlling, very dark or very, very toxic. Definitely, it seems here you put behind something that you don't want to deal with or don't want to comply with or don't want to match with. It's kind of like, I really want my, my auric field to be clear out. I want my energy to be clear of everything it is from this particular energy. But for you, loves, do it so because sometimes the universe is sending you the best out of the best. I feel here for some of you, if you put behind certain things, you definitely are overcoming it. And best of this is because you are actually free to grow in the energy you need to. Beautiful Virgos, welcome. Two of Wands for you, loves, and Nine of Cups. You gotta make a decision here, what you truly feel you want. And I feel here, there's something here that you gotta take action towards and not stay in the place where you feel comfortable. I feel here there is a situation here definitely could bring you the best out of the best. But what I'm feeling here, you don't need to stay and wait. Instead, you need to make progress. You need to move because I'm hearing move, move, move. That's ne not necessary to move in a whole location or something, but around you, the energy to move because I see a static energy, you know, like... Um, a lake and a river, they are very different. The river flows, moves, the lake stays. How is the water smell? That's the thing. So it's about movement. It's about doing. It's like you have an idea, write it down. You have a thing to do, go and do it now. And so on. It's like don't let it for other times or when certain things will be good for you or... For example, in the morning you wake up and, oh, no, I'll stay a little bit more in bed. Or it's Sunday, I don't have too much to do. Actually, the way you start your day, that's much more to say about it. So I feel here there's something here about movement for you and doing the right thing. And that will help you tremendously in a lot more than you think. Libras. We have a Ten of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. There's a family reunion here, loves. For some of you, it might be a meeting, but I see a family reunion for some of you. Or someone here asks you for something, a favor or something. You are still doubting. Should I go? Should I not? If you feel it's quite obvious that someone here needs you and that's why they invite you, you got to think. If you feel that something here is worth to go, you better go. I feel here you, you have your options. You do absolutely. For some of you, there is a transaction there. You got to know your options. You got to narrow your options. For some of you, if it's there is a meeting and it's all about money and things and you just kind of like, I don't know if I want to be part of this or I don't know what this is complying to me, you clearly will find out. For some of you, there is even a promotion out there and it's coming after a very long time. Could be even two years, could be even longer. But it seems here there's something very, very good for some of you if you think on a professional level. Scorpios. My Scorpios. Let's see. 
We have a page of pentacles and justice. There's an offer and seems quite balanced offer. Could be from an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, could be from a Libra. But I feel here there is a contract offer to you or there's some kind of offer of job. Yes, it's legal. Yes, it's stable, but it's in the beginning. So would you like it or would you not like it? You know, for some of you who are looking for a job or a stable job or a stable income, believe it or not, there is room for more because this is just the beginning, loves. My Sagis, welcome, loves. We have an Ace of Wands and a Nine of Pentacles. Sagis, so there's someone here want to flirt with you or is flirting with you. I don't feel here you are very much interested in this flirting situation. For whatever reason is there. For some of you, there is some somebody here offer you something. Not necessarily flirting, not necessarily love. But you, you consider it's too small. When, when we're looking like this, it's just kind of like, ah, oh, no, it's too small or it's too flaky or something like that. And I feel here the, the Sages who I'm talking, you actually learn to appreciate your worth. And I feel here once you get on this side, on this road, you will see much more. And those who are with something little, something small, they will fade away on in time. Yes, absolutely. Look at the Seven of Swords. Whoever tries to give you something, they they clearly know is not what you're looking for, but, you know, people will try. Some of you might feel like, well, if I'm in a high vibration, why keep coming these things? Because there is tests. We always will be tested. And if we learn the lesson, we will know better than that. Capricorn. Queen of Swords and Knight of Cups. There is an offer here, but I feel here you are... Capricorn, you might speak here with someone, but more in a friendly way than love way. But somebody here really love the way who you are. Not They don't want your friendship. They do want you. They do want love you. Because Knight of Cups comes with an offer of love. The Queen of Swords is just kind of communicating here and there. And it's just kind of like, you know, this person really loves that you are straightforward. They are, they really appreciate honesty at its finest. So why not love if you are great friends? Why not to go even more, to explore more? Doesn't need you, gotta jump. Okay. Aquarians. We have strength and we have temperance. You know, for you, of course, it's like slow and steady wins the race. You got whatever it takes. I feel here you've been through a lot. And I also I see you healing. Take your time. For some of you, there is new energy coming in. And that energy smells like abundance. And I feel here the way it comes this way, this time, will be appreciated or will be approached differently. Okay? Whatever that comes. If it's a love situation, if it's a job situation, if it's a money situation, financial situation. I feel here is like this time around, whatever comes to you, you are ready. You know what you're going to do. And moving on to our Pisces. That's it, darlings. We have judgment and lovers choices now you know what choice you gotta do i feel here for those of you who have a choice out there that is happening pretty quick for some of you you now realize who is this person what i need to do in the situation and it's like straight like a bullet to you so go ahead loves for some of you yes you might meet your twin flame loves and feels like a very, 
very challenging energy or situation for you. And collective. Seems here we have three more percentage at the camera. So collective, we have a four of cups for you and an ace of cups. You do have new beginning. However, you need to leave behind what really possibly can drag you backwards. You know, many, many times live in the present. That's the real living in the present. Leave the past because you might miss a great opportunity that it's offered looking for whatever it is. Quite emotional. For some of you, you may have a new person coming into your life and you might not see it because you not done with whatever needs to be done. So take that in count, loves, and know what you need to do next. Let it go because sometimes, you know, happiness is right around the corner. And that being said, I thank you for all of you who've been here and I'll see all of you next time. Namaste.